What's up everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today, I'm gonna be creating a piece of art with Copic markers using only the chisel tip. So Copic markers have two nibs. They have this brush nib, which is what I use pretty much all the time. With it, you can get really thin, small detail, as well as getting nice, broad strokes. You can also use it to paper strokes like this, which is really useful for blending. Now, the other nib is the chisel nib. It's very rigid. You can get fine details with it by using the tip, but mostly it's designed for covering larger areas. So the challenge with the chisel nib, since it's so rigid, is going to be coloring in smaller areas, as well as coloring organic shapes. So along with these Copic markers, I'll also be using a variety of chisel tip tools. So I have this chisel tip brush, which I might use to add some white gouache details at the end of the piece. And lastly, I also have one Copic wide marker, which is basically just a giant chisel tip. But I only have it in black, so I might use it to fill in a large background. All right, so I'm just gonna jump right in. I start off with a sketch. So my idea for this piece was to have this guy where he's kind of half man, half lizard, as if he's kind of turning into some sort of reptile. He would be lit as if he was holding a torch in his right hand. So the right side of his face would be lit by the fire with a lot of yellows and oranges, and the left side of his face would be in shadow. So with the sketch done, I move on to transferring to my final marker paper. With the sketch transferred onto my final paper, I move on to testing out my color palette. As you can see, even with all the transition shades I have, it's still difficult to get a smooth blend with just the chisel tip. So with my color palette figured out, I'm ready to move on to the final piece. Alright, I'm really happy with how the piece came out. And looking back, I think the most difficult parts of just using the chisel nib is that it's difficult to get flat color, it usually ends up really streaky. It's hard to get small details because the nib is really rigid, and it's also hard to blend. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Hey, so you made it to the end of the video. So I'll let you in on a little secret. Now, it's just that I accidentally used the brush nib twice while making this piece. Oh, crap. I accidentally just used the brush tip.